Good morning, my name is Chelsea from Teaching in Pearls and this is my last day at school before I go on leave for my mastectomy surgery. So I'm probably not going to vlog today because hopefully the teacher who is subbing for me, so we have three building subs, so luckily the person who's subbing for me I'm very familiar with. She's also a retired teacher from our building, so I worked with her as a co-worker, and I mean she's still a co-worker but now she's a sub co-worker, whatever. Anyways, she's amazing. and. Fingers crossed, as of yesterday afternoon, she didn't need to cover for anyone today so she would be able to spend the day with me. So hopefully that happens and therefore I won't be vlogging because that would be strange. But I want to show you guys how I prepared my room for having a long term sub and like what I prepared lesson wise and all that stuff. So let me give you a quick little room tour real quick. So I've spent a lot of time like decluttering. I also wrapped up and I also like cleaned. I dusted and everything. I wrapped up all my shelves. I kind of tried to make them look like Christmas presents and my little kids think they are giant Christmas presents which is disappointing to them when they find out it's just the shelves <laughs> um, just because I don't want people messing with those materials and the sub actually said she'd prefer me to wrap it up too because it's less you know for her to manage and over here this is like kind of my emergency sub shelf so I have puppets I didn't leave any plan for the puppets I have three no four books with book buddies I didn't leave any plan for those I have nine material things they have like colored pencils crowns scissors stuff like that no plan for that and then emergency worksheets that are grade level appropriate two books that have stories and games no plan for those and then rhythm sticks are in my lesson plans and these piano songs are in my lesson plans these are the medium and hard songs that i chose for my students the medium ones i'm considering medium because they use the black keys the hard ones i'm considering hard because they have to actually read the lines and spaces so which they do know how to do but they've never done it while playing music well, they have, but only like one note songs and two note songs. Okay, so like I said, decluttered everything. Obviously, Billy's going with me. Um, I cleaned out both of these closets and reorganized them so it's all stuff that she can use if she needs it. Like that's cleaning supplies, that's school supplies. And then I moved all my keyboards to the bottom shelf so my kids are able to get them in and out. They were here and I had to have a kid get them out for them because some of them were too short, but this is working much better. This is my special piano for students who need to sit by themselves. <laughs> some kids actually elect to sit here, and then some are designated there. Um, I got my headphones in there. The kids have been pretty good about learning how to wrap them up and store everything correctly. Cleaned over here, and then cleaned my desk area, and all I'm leaving is my schedule and my calendar, which I have labeled every single day with um, what person I go to for tutoring and what time every day that she's subbing it says what time tutoring is and where she goes because it changes every day clean this up so that's the state of how I'm leaving my classroom I will show you guys an update in January of what it looks like I'm sure she will do a good job of keeping it tidy but I'm positive the kids are gonna rip some of those shelves <laughs> I'm just sure of it um, I'm gonna show you what I actually left as far as lessons and my huge music substitute binder. So I'll go through this with you first. Bear with me because I have to block out some information obviously, but it says music substitute binder and then it says Miss Hillard and my room number. When you open it up on the inside pocket, I have um, hall pass forms. This is like if you send a kid to the nurse or something. This is actually not for the kid. This is to give to the teacher in case you sent someone somewhere during specials so that you don't have to remember to tell them when they pick them up. I just leave it on the clipboard. These are color change paper. These are good incentives, school-wide good incentives. Over here is my daily schedule. This has two field trips written down. They actually don't affect me because I don't teach those classes those days, of course. My luck. Well, her luck. <laughs> but um, I have them written down anyways. And just like what to do for duty. And just a little thank you note. Then I have my schedule. This is the same one that's on my table. And this is our A, B, C, D, E day of rotation. So like what group we're teaching each day but as you can see here I have little sticky notes and I rotate them each week so I know which day is each week so she can do that if she'd like but she doesn't have to and then here is my lesson plan format idea I don't care 
really what she does honestly as long as the kids are entertained and doing something kind of musical so I left a bunch of stuff but this is what I would prefer which is the first week and a half to continue with the keyboard unit for second through sixth grade and then start my quaver lessons with K to one um, then the next week finish the keyboard unit with four through six start my quaver lessons with second to third or if they're really still in interested finish the keyboard but I think they'll be over it by then and then K to one quaver lesson on rhythm sticks the first week is the lesson on scarves I'll show you that as well then the last week watch the holiday concert recordings or do a quaver lesson honestly most kids are going to want to watch the old concerts because they're in them and they love seeing themselves so I have information about accessing my clear touch board because she'll want to use that for all the quaver lessons and for some resources for the piano keyboard lesson too and activities lesson I said below is a login information for pre-made interactive quaver music lessons it's on the next page which I'm not going to show you obviously because I don't want you to log in my quaver but I said I'll also leave YouTube video options and printed materials as an alternative option the printed materials were in those drawers printed worksheets are that's not true but whatever she'll figure that I'll tell her that verbally so anyways, the clipboards are here, the pencils are there, whatever. So here's my Quaver um, login information. It just tells her how to log in, how to find the lessons. I'll walk you through that. And then here's a link or a list of YouTube videos that I don't mind her showing them if she wants to just show a YouTube video. Here are the instructions for my keyboard unit. Have students go to their assigned seats. Do not pass out any materials so they are calm. That's very important. For grades three to six, um, I'll explain to her that she doesn't need to do this anymore because the little kids can all reach their instruments now. It's important that students hold the boxes with two hands so that the keyboards do not fall out. They know this, but they often need reminders. Call students individually or in small groups, like by the colors of their circles, to go get their headphones and their keyboard. Keyboards should be placed on top of the box and headphones remain plugged in. Students will work their way through a series of keyboard songs. I have labeled them easy, medium, and hard. The easy ones are up there on my sink. The kids know. They've been going to them already. Um, the students should work mostly individually, but some will probably need help. Some will probably need to help the others since I'm not there to help. If she's able to observe me today, I am going to teach her the same thing I teach them, which is Diaz in the doghouse and how to find the keys after that. But she might know that. I don't know what her skills are with the piano, if any. Start having them pack up about 10 minutes early. Batteries and tape are in the drawers next to my sink. And then this is just my emergency procedures, fire drill, lockdown drill. Here's miscellaneous information. Crisscross applesauce hands in your lap and H-E-L-L-O are attention getters I use for K-4. to If students need to use the bathroom, they can go to the one. I just told her which one. There are no food or drinks, including water because I don't want them spilling it on my carpet, allowed in the music room, with an exception to some sixth graders who need to eat their school breakfast. I have them sit at that table. Um, if, they bring, if kids bring water bottles to class, they need to stay on a table or a counter the entire class period. Second graders will bring their coats and lunch boxes because it like backs up to their lunch. I have them pile them up on the table near my entrance, and then in the last few minutes of class, I lay them out on the floor so they can grab them and go. The specials team meets in my room. <laughs> um, if a new student is added to a class, feel free to assign them a seat. On Friday, the strings teacher's here. The kids will come in. They should not interrupt your class, but they do need to grab their instruments from the closet. And then this is like impossible to show you because of student names, but I can show you like this reflection of this one. You can kind of see without being able to read anything. Um, it's the class roster at the top. I've highlighted each student's name with if they are ELL, IEP, or have asthma. I have a lot of asthma cases. And then the kids who have other um, health issues like epilepsy or sickle cell, I have them like starred as well well then I have their seating chart and yeah so it's seating chart at the bottom attendance list at the top then I have a map of the school and these are extra copies of worksheets so that's everything the sub binder I personally think it's very comprehensive um, but here is the quaver stuff I put together the keyboard unit my kids are doing is very independent they're like very self-sufficient on it now because we've been doing it for like two three weeks in most classes so they know what to do but for quaver oh sorry i told you i was going to show you guys a step okay so quaver you log in you click my custom lessons and then i archived everything else i've used on quaver because i have a lot of folders just so it wasn't hard to find this sub plan folder and then i have one for the keyboard unit it only has two little slides in it it has the keyboard thing that i show them a lot and it has the notes to Mary Had a Little Lamb, which is the first song they learn. And that's it. She doesn't really have to show that to them, but the kids are used to seeing it, so it's there. All right, I am being observed today by the teacher who's going to be in here. But I have a quick second to 
show you what I created for Enquaver. I made one page for the keyboard unit and it's this one that's up. It's just their keys that I usually have projected on the board and then their first song they learn, which most of them are done with by now, but then I have K to second. I put together scarf lesson and then a rhythm stick lesson. Whoops, 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 whoops. Didn't want to move that. And then link to the holiday concert recordings and some dance videos. Third through six, they will probably just do keyboards, but in case they get sick of keyboards, I have rhythm stick activities, instrument stuff, um, and then I'm putting in boom marker videos as well and their holiday concert recording. So that's everything. Well, that's it. I'm all done. I had my sub in here all day. That was really helpful. Um, it was awesome. She was like stepping in and doing things to kind of practice. We got her all set in technology. It was great. Um, and I'm out of here for surgery. I'm not excited, but I'm just like, so obviously like nobody's going to be excited to get amputated, which is what my surgery technically is. But I'm so happy because I'm so relieved that this part is done because this was so much work and so much stress to prepare everything for a sub for four weeks in a class where I'm a hundred percent in front of my students all the time putting on a show essentially seven hours a day so it's done wish my sub luck and I Hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully it was helpful if you're ever preparing for a long-term sub. Let me know if you have any questions about what I talked about because I know I went through it all kind of fast this morning. Um, and I will have access to most of it at home. So if you want more details about anything, just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you or do a follow-up video or something. I'll also definitely follow up with this in January and let you know how it went, like how the kids did with the sub, if there's anything I would have changed, stuff like that. But I will see you in my mastectomy vlogs next. So, hope you're having a fabulous day wherever you are. Mm -hmm.